Good day guys, Lead It Pros here for fstoplounge.com. As you can probably tell, I'm outside in the wilderness uh, in rural Victoria and it's very, very loud with corellas. Uh, you can hear them chirping away, so apologies in advance. Also, I've got a bit of a cold, so the audio is probably not that great, so bear with me. I'm actually here today to introduce you to Fujifilm's latest camera. That's the Fujifilm XQ1. This camera is so small, I can fit it in my pocket. I love it. I can travel around with it, pull it out, snap a photo, and keep going. So Fujifilm have really, really put the goods in this camera. And let me just tell you a couple of things first. First of all, this is a prototype camera. So I can't release any of the images, uh, but it is a working model, um, not fully working. There are some errors with it, and that's because it's a pre-production model. But let me tell you a little bit more about the camera. You can see here on the front, it's got this ring, and that's a control ring, or control dial, whatever you want to call it. And what this does, it controls a number of things. In the camera, you can have it set to uh, the exposure compensation, and that's something I prefer, especially when I'm shooting an aperture priority at the top here. I can change my aperture using the jog wheel at the back, and then at the front, I can actually change my exposure compensation. Traditionally, on X-Series cameras, around the X-Pro1, X-E1, X-M1, X-100S, you've got that uh, dial at the top where you can adjust your exposure compensation. But this is quite nice because it fits small in the hand. You can actually shoot and adjust it. And now, rather than the exposure compensation of um, a latitude of two stops either side, so you've got plus two and minus two, you can now go to three stops, which is fantastic. So the actual sensor is able to handle that data and the, the exposure, um, sorry, the dynamic range much better than previously. So that's a great thing. The other thing uh, on the actual control ring that you can change is your filter modes. At the top here on the dial, it says filter. And that's same filters as your XM1 and XA1. You're, so you can have a really, really bit of a play around and, and experiment with your photography. A couple of modes that I really like are the dynamic mode, and that's the dynamic filter, I should say, is like HDR. So all those people on Google Plus on the HDR community, this is a camera for you. You won't be disappointed. Also, another setting, miniature. If you're on top of a building or um, looking down at something, flick it to the miniature mode, and it's like a tilt shift in, in camera. It's a fantastic tool. There's toy, uh, partial color as well, but I won't get into all of them. That's one thing you can do. The other thing you can do is actually zoom with this as well. So when you're actually taking a photo, you, you can zoom in and zoom out. That's something you simply set up through the menu. Now, another thing, pop-up flash. It's so small, but yet so powerful. I love it. Um, you can set it to force flash, fill-in flash, red eye, you name it, similar to what other X-Series cameras have. This can do it too. So just pop it down like that. The other great thing is the massive screen on the back. You can see that everything on it, everything that you want, all that fine detail, you can simply zoom in after you've taken the photo and check it, which is really handy. The record button, uh, you see on most cameras these days, is an instant video record. And yes, that's right, it does do full HD video. Um, I'm filming on the XS1 at the moment, which is only doing 720p, which is the older style sensor and older style X-Series camera. Still a great zoom though. This one is just phenomenal. If you want a video camera in a small compact, this XQ1 is just incredible. You get the same sort of video quality as what you're getting on the Fujifilm X20, and we all know what that is. That's a fantastic camera. So, I encourage you to get out, try this camera yourself, get out into your X-Series Pro Stockist um, it, at your local camera store, and actually pick it up yourself and, and try it. I'd love to hear your feedback, so drop it in the comments, and I'll see you next time. Cheers.